Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this, your Pisces, March 2024 reading and forecast. Hi, I'm Nigel St. James Clairvoyant. And this month we have a deck which is called Raphael or Raphaelite or something like that. I, I just have the deck tied up in string and the, bo the box is long gone and frankly I can't remember what it's called, so you may well know. But what I do know is, is that the images have a sort of a renaissance feel to them, very crisp you know, non-abstract sort of art on, on here of people mainly and doing things. And so it's, 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 it's easy on the eye is what I would say. And it's, it, and it reads very well. I just uh, had a look at it then and I get good vibes out of it. Now it's great to see the subscribers again. You know, I always love, uh, thank you for welcoming into your home. I always enjoy seeing you, truly I do. And who wouldn't, that's for sure. Now, of course, I've done a number of one-on-one -on -one clairvoyant readings for people, many Pisces as well over the course of the last month from different countries around the world over FaceTime and Skype. And if you might be interested to see what's involved in having a one-on-one -on -one clairvoyant reading with me, then just check out the information that's in the description at the end of the video. Now, the other spiritual gift that I was provided with at birth is that of healing. Now, I charge for readings, I have to, but healing, healing is free. Details at the end of the video in the description as well. Healing is free. I am to get no nothing in return for it. Uh, so no payment. Uh, there's no obligation to you. You won't be sold or recommended anything by me to obtain from me or from anybody else. So it is literally, there's no catch. It's, it's just free. And um, if you have an emotional or physical thing that you think would benefit, then please reach out to me. I mean, it's my sole obligation. You'd understand what I mean by that. It's my sole obligation to provide it, and I'm very happy to do so. It's what, It was given to me for a purpose, and so I have made use of it for a long, long time. Now, let's see what's involved here. We're only going to, now Google should have turned off all the ads in the middle of the video here, so you get to enjoy the experience direct, and we're only going to take five cards, because we don't just spend two seconds on a card, do we? Oh, no. They are very talkative to us about the cosmic energies which are swirling around you. So let's see what there is for you this month, shall we? And show me the magic. What is this? That is the Four of Coins. This is the Three of Wands. This is what it looks like I would say that that is the princess of swords is what I would say the page of swords is what I'm getting that is the emperor And that is the Eight of Wands. Well, why don't you come sit down here next to me? You and I can have a close, good close look. I'll bring the camera around so we can both have a good close look at the imagery on these cards together while they speak to us both, and I'll do the reading for you. Well, this in a nutshell is a very powerful directed, ambitious month for you where new things are going to be turning up which are leading to success. Look at these uh, four of coins and this emperor here. Let me have a look at this card and determine the energy which is associated with it and which the card is reflecting. Now this is the four of coins or the four of discs, whatever you want. Now this looks like a guard, could be one of those beef eater guards that uh, are around the Tower of London, or it could be one of, is it one of those Swiss guards that's in the Vatican? I don't recall. Maybe it's, is either one of those, I'm not quite sure. You might know, and in which event, let us know in the comment below. But let's have a look at it. What is the astrology now? Where this is, this is Aries, this is Sag, this is uh, Aries again. This is the sun 
in the third decan of Capricorn, which is the 13th to the 21st of January. Do you know, this really for me is the Lord of earthly power in this situation. Now the sun in Capricorn, well, of the Capricorns that you know, they generally, generally are ambitious, hardworking. They really do go with the the saying that success is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. And they are a feet on the ground, eye on the prize sort of sign, aren't they? Because those people who have their sun in Capricorn, they generally have a very realistic, grounded approach to life, whatever else you might think of them. And, what, and however else the rest of their birth chart happens to play out. This is speaking to me for you, of your ability to make things happen now, and you'll have a very strong character. There's very good foundations around you for material things. There's a stability here. Now, you might have a tight rein on the budget and be quite financially cautious and maybe saving for the future in order to protect yourself. But the power expressed by this energy is shown in this powerful God that's here, almost rigid. Everything is in its place. There's nothing extra around here. Now, this God is talking about setting out rules and regulations. Well, look, those things have both positive and negative aspects. They present, really, a sort of a closed system, don't they, which has boundaries within it, standards. But those things do also provide certain advantages. Now, if you sort of have your own rules and regulations that you live with so that you have those sort of attributes, then you will be someone that people can depend on. And you will be unshakably true to your personal principles and you will conduct all your dealings with absolute integrity. Now, I've got to tell you, rare is the person who does live out his or her ideals. Another sense that's coming from this energy here is crystallization or even holding rigidly to the letter of the law, becoming a stickler, crusading for your own principles. Now, that can be problematic because what you find there is that when, you, when your guidelines and where your rules take on a life of their own, then upholding the standard, upholding the rule or the regulation can sometimes appear to be more important. Um, than actually being human and adaptable. And the danger there is to suppress your natural Im impulses so as not to move outside those, those rules. There's, this is very much a material energy that's around here. Now, even though I sometimes say and be careful of rules and regulations, maybe it might be that you need to become more established in setting order around you. Now, this can provide a sanctuary for you here. I do think, though, that you are going to be tested not to give away your personal power, and you need to work out who and where you say no to things. I think that you will sometimes retreat into yourself, but you've got strength and power with you at this time. Now, I do think that financial and material security are going to be very important to you, and you have solid foundations here. And I do think also you've got the ability to gradually increase assets due to sound judgment and wise savings and what have you. Look, you are willing to work for what you want and you will have confidence in applying yourself to the world. And you will be seen as a person who is dependable and who acts with integrity. 
the fulfillment of your personal goals and dreams is definitely possible now. Now, is your life, your behavior too structured? Or does your life, your behavior need more order and structure? Study the different aspects of power. You'll find a, a book on the internet by a guy called Nikolai Machiavelli. It was written in the 1500s, I think. It's called The Prince. It's free. That is probably the best book on power that has ever been written and can be applied in a variety of circumstances. This is a period where you do have power though. So say this to yourself. I offer my power in the service of love. And then look who we have sitting underneath this very powerful energy here. If it's possible to be so, then this is even more so. This is, this is the son of the morning, the chief among the mighty, otherwise known to most people as the emperor. Well, a lot of Aries energy around here. Now you are going to find that you want to go out and discover new things. You are going to be seen as a leader, as someone who can start things and make things happen. There's a great degree of creative wisdom with you now, and there are great leadership qualities within you that are bubbling forward and bringing about an urge for action and adventurousness and new beginnings. There is order and structure here, funnily enough. Ambition, great degree of ambition here with you. I think you could well be taking a stand and you'll be firm with yourself and also with others. Now, I do think that you are going to be primarily concerned with power and control over some other people, or maybe over yourself. And as I say, people are going to see you as a natural leader and organizer. Do you know, your power and judgment, they are only going to be added to by you having learnt from your life experiences to date and success is going to come about through discipline and the application of knowledge. You will be a rational thinker. Now, I do think that status is going to be very important to you as is material security and stability. And I have to say this, because I read it as I see it, you could well be quite volatile and fiery from time to time. And I don't see you being the passive, peaceful Pisces that so many people have the image of. Now, looking at this guy here, he is portrayed as a, as a crowned man in a majestic gown. He's holding here a Maltese cross, which represents the unification of wisdom and worldly mastery. Uh, his gown also glows with the fiery colour of Mars, and around here are the colours of the sun. Now, uh, his hair, this scepter here is very interesting, showing great power. It also shows a deep understanding of cosmic law, as well as dynamism and power. A deep understanding and a constant consideration of the will of the whole will also be necessary. Because, you know, in a sense, you're going to be a, a ruler here. A ruler with those qualities, that is, with a deep understanding and a consideration of the will of other people. Now, I think what he's also doing is he's shouting out that there is the beginning of a new venture or a new phase in your life here. Now, this new beginning may be an extension or an expansion of what you're already doing, that is, in the sort of the realm of your rule, or it could be the conquering of new territories. I notice also that on the material plane, the new beginning may mean starting a promising new 
project, a change in work or travel or parenthood. And on the inner plane, new realizations may emerge, insights in areas previously unfamiliar. Or dramatic self-revelation and self-discovery, well, they're also possible here, you know. This is a really good time for a change or a new beginning. So trust your own energy and move with it. Now, what changing up does your life need now? Are there steps you would like to take towards this? Examine yourself critically, especially in relation to oh, what, what might in a, an organization be seen as being superiors or subordinates, but where, where people fit along the outside of the totem pole, if you understand what I mean. I do think that this is a, a time when you will be possibly difficult to get to know by other people. Strangely that, because you're very, very open. And I think that there's talking here also that your authority, when it's grounded in wisdom, won't come across as being like a dictator or an authoritarian. You know, living in fear of change, that nips in the bud anything that's liable to bloom, and then you can be doomed. So have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your power, and say to yourself, I trust my power, I rule by serving, and I serve by ruling. Now let's have a look to see what's... Oh, gee, look, I'm getting up here. Oh, we spoke of this being Aries and of the sun also being important. This is why I say this is such a vital month for you and so full of power and forward motion is because the astrology that I'm getting around this where it's sitting is also the sun in the second decan of Aries, which is um, the 31st of March till April the, the 9th. Now... That's great because the sun is also exalted in Aries. And so this placement is very favorable. Now Aries enjoys a challenge and Aries suns are happiest when their lives are moving forward. This is a time also of integrity, honesty, self-confidence, and I don't think I don't think, with these previous cards there also, that you are going to be making any compromises. Your ideas are crystallizing, and this is a confirmation that you are on the right path. It could also be that you're thinking of turning a hobby into a business. You see, you understand and allow your own power free play here, never giving it over to someone else in an attitude of subjugation. But despite all this external dynamism and energy that's going around, your center is going to remain untouched and clear. Now thinking about that point of internal stillness, will also allow you a new sense of self-confidence that will come into being and guard against an overload of unnecessary problems. The wisdom within you now is strong enough to repel any anxieties or doubts which may arise. And I've got to tell you that any brooding or analytical, critical considerations from your mind, they don't stand a chance when you are filled with this life energy and sense of vitality. Now, I think this is also telling you to understand your virtues and trust yourself to make the right decisions in your life and not to be held back by fear. This is looking inside and outside with integrity, honesty, and no compromise. Now, you would know that it is important to operate from a place of integrity before making decisions, particularly at the moment, and to have clarity of mind and heart before you take any action if you want to bring about the best result. 
Because unless you do have that clarity, then don't act. But if you do, now definitely with Aries and the Sun is the time to do it. So pay attention to your own point and internal stillness. Center yourself and overcome. Now, my dear Pisces, are there still any reasons for self-doubt? Do you let doubt cloud your understanding and belief in your virtues? But if you are not centered and you feel doubts lingering within, then dispel them because they are not meant to be with you at this time and say to yourself, I have the power and virtue to think and to know. Now, I do think that what you'll be doing is you'll be moving along rather quickly and it's important that when you do make decisions that you put them into place quickly and you don't, you don't mess around when you have all this energy here with you. You seize it. You rejoice in it and let no power on earth take it from you. Now, what we have here is, this is interesting. Ah, now this is Mercury in the first decan of Sagittarius, being the 23rd of November to the 2nd of December. Now, Mercury is that androgynous, neither male nor female planet, the planet of communication, of diplomacy, of intellect. And Sagittarius, of course, it has the swiftness of the arrow. And that swiftness of the arrow and that mind of Mercury produces within you something of a restless intellect. Now, the number eight there is, I also have an association with Mercury as well. So communication is going to be a great highlight for you. But numerologically, eight also refers for me to power, balance, harmony, manifestation, practicality, skill, and probably most importantly, decision. Never be afraid of making decisions. If you make a wrong decision, you can make another decision to change it. This is saying that clear, direct, swift communication will overcome misunderstandings. It will also enable you to overcome obstacles. And you're going to find that events are moving fast and that blockages are being removed. Re uh, re uh, what am I saying? Removed. Now, opportunities are turning up very quickly, I think. And I think you're also going to see things come into form very quickly. This is really an energy for overcoming the blocks which stand in your way. If you state your own standpoint openly, directly, and clearly, these blockages are going to be transformed. Misunderstandings will yield to agreement. Now, I think you have found your inner center and can present your position with emphasis and openness. And I think that you'll also find that a problem which might have appeared just insurmountable until now, it fades meaninglessly into the background because of your decisions and clarity. So if you overcome the tendency to procrastinate, to hesitate, and are prepared to call disturbing events or influences or people by name, you will rob them of their power to restrict and hinder you. Now, this really is a, this energy here is coming through like electricity, this one's energy, it's electricity. It's a very quick, fast acting, enormously strong energy. So grasp it and go with it because you'll find that you'll be able to change any situation or problem or obstacle by taking quick action with direct communication. This does highlight, though, the need for clear communications to make the things you want to come into being. And I think you're going to, you, you can expect to be busy as this card has a lot of energy propelling you towards your goals here. And you might find that you finish off projects quickly, certainly something that's underway, but direct where your energy is going to be set 
focus it into a narrow point so you don't scatter it and then get on with it. Do you know the moment has come for you to define where you stand? And if you are open and remain centered, misunderstandings are going to be cleared. Now, is there anyone to whom you do not dare to openly state where you stand? Use this opportunity to open yourself up more to those people who mean something to you and say to yourself, my openness and my self-confidence, it opens the hearts of those that I love. Now, finally, we have to deal with this. Whom? Looks like a page or a princess of swords, clearly, doesn't it? I imagine, I don't know why she's holding on to that balance. Anyway, I think that Aquarius, certainly it's got a lot of Pisces energy around it, and Capricorn could well be important to you. This might be someone that you know, actually. There are some aspects in here which do relate to you, but this is someone that you might know who comes across as being stern and revengeful, firm and aggressive, but somebody who nevertheless is really skilled in the ways of the world. Their logic is destructive. They're firm and aggressive with a great practical wisdom about what's going on in life and how people are getting on with one another and about how things are actually working. And they have a subtle understanding of these things. And they do show great cleverness and flexibility in the management of their own practical and material affairs and very good at moving through situations or dealing with situations where there's a lot of controversy or a lot of disagreement. This is someone who is very goal oriented and really does solve arguments. But this is a time for you when you are coming out of the clouds and into clarity. You have victory over your moods now. There may be something of a rebellious figure, a uh, rebellious uh, mood to you, you know. This is the person, though, I'm coming back to them. This is what I'm getting. They, they might attract troubles and be an unhappy person when it comes to how their life is going. It's almost as if, like swords, it's almost as if all the fine qualities of air are weighed down and suffocated, and they can appear as children of misfortune. But this is also someone who can throw everything overboard, blow everything sky high, much to the amazement of everyone around them. But ultimately, they have chosen right, and they gain their reward. This is indicating for you a fresh intellectual clarity now, which shakes everything up. You have demolished the old sacred altars. You have killed the sacred cows. And when this element of air meets the earth, those things are destroyed. Every change, every inner conflict you experience is almost going to throw smoke and ash flying into the sky. But you're not going to allow that dust caused by the destruction of the old and the useless to cloud your clarity of vision. And you will use your sword to sweep away moods and disruptive thoughts which arise because you are going to be quite resolute and aggressive. Now, do notice you've got that emperor down there. And you too will have the ability to deal well with practical issues. This person could be quite rebellious though, and someone who's not intimidated by the, by the church or by the state. 
Your thoughts and vision may at times destroy holy altars at this time, so don't let yourself be buried by the flying debris. Don't allow your moods to take hold of you and remain true to your real ideas. Now, what old altars are present in your life? Have you the courage to destroy them? And look inside to see if your rebellion is rooted in love. And say this to yourself. My rebellion is positive, constructive, and creative. It doesn't really get any better than that, and you did a great job. Yes, you did a really good job in that reading, and what a fantastic and interesting month it looks like it's going to be for you, and don't you deserve it? It's great to see you. And, uh, and you deserve all the good things in life, really you do. Now, unless I see you privately for a reading or a healing, then I'll see you again next month. And until then, remember one thing, and it is this, that you are a legend. And I look forward to seeing you again next month. And until then, it's bye for now.